I thought it to be my duty to make this tutorial because nobody on the internet has. And I'm going to keep this as short and sweet as possible. <clears throat> there are going to be two things that you absolutely need. That being a plugin called Via Proxy, which I'll show you how to get, and the server jar of the version you want to run. So I want to run um, version alpha. Let's see here. Where's my server jar? I'm going to run um, version 1.0.15. Uh, 1 this will work for any alpha servers, any beta servers, any modern releases, doesn't matter. Whatever version you want, you can use. This is not the server jar. This is the server exe. I think this is the only thing that exists. But as long as you open it and it runs a server that looks like this, you're good. So let me delete these real quick. Um, however your server is hosted, whether it be on Linux or whatever, you're going to open the, the, the server directory. Um, or you're going to make a new folder if you're on Windows. Um, you're just going to call it server. So you put that in there. Put your server jar in there. Um, and then within your directory, you're going to create a new folder called via proxy. It doesn't actually matter what you call it. It's just easier if you call it via proxy. Um, and then you're golden in that regard. Then you're going to go to this website, which is just the GitHub for via proxy itself. The link will be in the description. Um, and you're going to click the latest release, which is via proxy 3.0.22. Um, I am running on Java 8. I recommend for the sake of this tutorial that you also run Java 8. Um, and you can download the Java 8 jar, especially if you're running a beta or alpha version of the game. Um, so we're going to save it to the desktop here. Uh, once it's done downloading, you're going to take the via proxy jar and put it in via proxy. Perfect. Amazing. Awesome. Now you run the server. And it looks like it is already done. Then once that is the, the server has started, you open up via proxy, and then you just double click that jar. So set the server uh, version to the version that you're running. I'm running alpha, again, alpha 0. Point, or 1.0.15. The server address is going to be, just for now, the loopback address on my computer, which is that. And then the bind port, this is important. Make sure you copy this or just remember this. It's 25568. Um, whenever somebody joins your server, depend whatever the server address is, put that in here. And whenever they join the server, make sure they put the server address and then colon. 25568 or whatever your buying port is. I wouldn't really change how to keep it at this, but um, for craps and giggles, uh, I will show you how this works. So I'm going to go on version 1.20. Also, make sure you click the start. I didn't uh, click the start there. I'm going to go on version 1.20. Make sure I'll open the alpha version too, um, just so that we can make sure that it's actually working. So here's the alpha version. Um, 1.7, this is just uh, because I'm uh, not hosting the server to a public address yet. I'm going to connect, and you can see that uh, through the alpha version, I can join the server, which is phenomenal. Then we'll go on the 1.20 version of the game, which is super loud, and we're going to do a direct connection just real quick. Uh, or if you add the server, you'll add it with whatever name you want. I'll name it alpha. And then the server address is going to be, of course, whatever your address is. Mine is um, just the uh, local address right now. Um, or the loopback address, excuse me. And then you're going to do the bind port 25568. Um, if you don't do that port, it's not going to work. So make sure that you uh, do that. That was my mistake. Um, that I made, and I have definitely learned my lesson. Um, so you can see it works on the alpha here. If I go on 1.20.1, I have also loaded in. Here is the other character, and it hasn't caught up yet. But here I am. You can see there is me on the right and on the left. So it's going to give this person a random skin. Uh, the textures are going to be what do you have the texture set to on the regular version? So you can use um, you can use shaders on here. Right now I'm running this on Fabric. So um, what's really cool about this is that it just allows you to play older versions of Minecraft with the same um, excuse me conveniences as the modern versions of Minecraft, which is just super neat. 
Um, so I can't sprint or anything. I'd recommend having like a texture pack that looks like the old game that gets rid of the hunger bar and the uh, XP bar and everything. Um, because of course none of that stuff is in this uh, in this game. But uh, yeah, look, you can see up here, legacy server version of Minecraft 1.20. Um, it's uh, it's it's pretty phenomenal. I'm I'm very excited to to try this out. Uh, but this is uh, that's essentially how to do it. Any questions, leave them in the description. The uh, guy who was helping me on the support uh, in Discord was super duper nice. So if I can't answer you or I don't respond, just go ask that guy. He answers super fast and he's like the nicest Discord mod I think I've ever interacted with. But yeah, thanks for watching.